hello and welcome to Drawing with Jesse. <laughs> and um, today I thought we'd take on something that is very intimidating to a lot of people, um, a glass of water. And so I'm just going to get set up here, get all my volumes off. Okay. So while I'm getting set up, send me a chat or leave a comment and let me know if you uh, have ever tried to draw a glass of water before, if it's something you love to do, if it's something you find intimidating. Let's see, is this still too heavy? I just had to try that again. Uh, okay. And make sure I'm live here. Okay, so I think drawing glasses of water is really fun um, there's a lot of um, it's it's a nice technical challenge there's symmetry there's understanding ovals um, that are reclined and let's see And then also there's the stuff you can see through the glass. And so we can break up this shape by putting something right in front of it. And, uh oh, so I'm trying to make sure if I'm live. Yikes. Hello. Oh, <laughs> yay. <laughs> Okay, I can't see myself, but I can see your comments. Let's see if that's working. Okay. Cool. So, uh, welcome. Hi, Milk Bun. So nice to see you. And I am going to... Big choices, big choices. Let's see. I think I'll use charcoal. One more time and let me know what you think of this charcoal business. Hi guys, welcome. <laughs> and uh, let me know if you are loving the charcoal or if you're ready to uh, have me go back to the pencils. Um, all right, nice eraser. I know I've told you the saga of the eraser. And sandpaper. Let's see. There we go. And check on. So I don't know if you can hear the sound outside. I apologize if you can. There's, um, they do the tornado warning <laughs> exactly when I start every week. And you just barely hear it from here. Um, okay, so, awesome, um, <laughs> bobbing for apples, yeah, so, let's see, that seems like a good idea, and, all right, so, my angle here is always so different from yours, I'm going to try to get something that works for both of us. Ah, uh, there we go. And lift that up. Zoom in a little bit. Zoom in some more. Alrighty. And so. Let's 
see. We can put something behind the glass. Because having that like distortion refraction is always, I think, the neat part of um, trying to draw glass. That's funny how it just kind of disappears right there. Um, try over here. Uh, that's nice. It kind of you see a little edge of it. Oh, lost it. Hmm, let's see. I kind of like that little sliver of apple coming across the back. We could play around with some different items too. Let's see. All these really crazy paintbrushes here. And break up the space a little. Eh. The setup always takes a little bit of time. Oh. And let's see. <laughs> what about a pencil? And I think. The little teeny pencils are really attractive for drawing. Let's see. Let me know what you think of this setup right there. I'm trying to get it close enough that it actually breaks up the form a little bit. Okay, what do you think of that? I think that's kind of a nice little setup. Let me know. You are very welcome to share your pins, opinions about this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Either really interesting or confusing. It's true. Let's see. I can probably address that. I've got canvas right here. Uh, let's see. Oy. Might be a bit much. Okay. Go for mid tone. So that's a an unprimed panel right there. What do you think of that? It's a little bit more subtle. You can see a tiny bit of shadow in there. That's kind of neat. And my paper is in the way. That glass almost disappears, which I think is really where glass gets interesting. Let me know what you think of that. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. The airplane in the background. Um, well, let me know what you think of the brown, brown background. And, yeah, the, <laughs> the airplanes in the background are, um, I don't know what to think of it. The, the university decided to um, increase the number of students in their flight school and then also, um, well, <laughs> it's just airplanes all over town all the time now. It's, <clears throat> it's kind of fun, but it's kind of a lot. So. Yeah. Trying to have good attitudes. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, cool. Very cool. And congratulations on the new hairstyle. That sounds awesome. And <laughs> all right, let's jump in. So 
I am going to draw what you are seeing. Let's do this. So I always start off with deciding where exactly I'm going to put this stuff. And let's see. I am going to put the bottom, give it a little bit of space here. The bottom of my glass and the top of my glass. And figure out that apple. The left edge somewhere around there. And if some of these lines move, it's okay, but I find that getting them down initially helps me um, to not run things off the page. And then these pencils. Okay, so the pencils are going at a very particular angle. And I'm going to hold up my charcoal and just kind of check out what is that angle. Get that right in there from the beginning. And okay, so you can tell I'm not being particular about ending at the right point. All I care about is that my angle is pretty close. And so let's see. Um, I know that for this, I want that glass to really be symmetrical. And let's see, those two pencils, the ends are kind of lined up right there. And then it's almost halfway across the glass, not quite. I'm just kind of talking through where things go. And let's see. So I know that my hand, when I go like this, it does not make a line that's curved and symmetrical on both sides. Um, so I can get down that line and correct it as I go along and say that needed to be steeper on the sides. This end's going to be covered up anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. But I just want to get a little bit more accuracy when I'm starting out and being very symmetrical for a long stretch can be hard. So I'm going to make this as easy as possible. Put a line right down the middle and so I know I want this to be a nice vertical line. I'm going to correct it as much as it's leaning. And happy Halloween. <laughs> uh, and oh, yeah, we do need pilots. So that's a good point. Okay, so before I get too far, I want to make sure I'm getting my top in the right place and then I'll adjust how wide this thing is accordingly. Just kind of gently getting the top in there. And then let's see, how wide is this compared to how tall it is? Um, oh, oh my gosh, it's much wider than I thought. I'm measuring it four times just to make sure. Okay, so. It's from the way I measured it, it's about one and three quarters times as tall as it is wide. Let's see how close to that I got. So this is some loosey goosey measuring, but okay. So that's how wide it is on my drawing so far. Huh. And let's see. And do a little bit of adjusting. 
bring it in just about that much. And you know, the thing is glasses come in all different shapes and sizes. So if it's way off, it won't really hurt anything, but I just want to see if I can capture it well. So that's about the proportions I'm seeing from the very outside of the lip to the very outside. And then there's these, uh, the inside of the ovals. And let's see, it goes out at a pretty subtle angle. And then as you go along, if you feel like, mm, I'm not sure I'm really getting that, you can measure out from the middle to the right hand side and then in the same exact spot from the middle to the left hand side. So, did I get that? Is that right? From the middle to the right hand side, middle to the left hand side, pretty close. And middle to the right, middle to the left, pretty close. So you can measure along and then adjust it to make sure you're happy with um, the symmetry there. And so I love drawing and painting glass because it has last and found edges all of its own that you can see. And um, I just, I think that's very, very beautiful. So, okay, I'm trying to make these three parts join up. So what I'm seeing is right in this area, you almost can't see the glass at all. And then also right there. I, before I forget, and just because having things that are really lovely on the paper it makes it more fun. I'm going to erase that line there and this line over here and let those be completely last edges or edges that are not defined. And it's, I don't know, it always makes me happy that sometimes erasing something is what makes it look really realistic. And or just like leaving out information. So let's see what else we've got. I've got an apple back there. Right now that apple is a little, <laughs> little C shape. But I remember when I put it there, what I really liked was this, um, this little teeny sliver of apple showing behind the glass. And so let me get a little bit more information about this glass so I know where exactly to put the apple. And so it says I'm looking down at this glass. Um, the angle, um, especially since me, since, since I'm so close and looking so much down at it, the angle is getting uh, more and more steep as it goes down. Um, so I wouldn't want this curve to be really flat here. I want it to be similar to the top, but it could be a little bit more accentuated. Let's see. There's um, all of these little arcs. And so there's this nice little decoration. Um, so I'm just going to get an angle that's really similar to this curve right here. And then look at it and see if that looks right and what might need adjusting. And so let's see. You can see almost a little bit of the water in the back. Not a ton. That's fun. Um, mostly what I see is that this area here is a little bit lighter than everything else. And that's nice. Um, okay. So, so I've got the water and then I've got the bottom of the, of yeah, this area. 
kind of sticking them in the same place. I'm going to move that water up just a smidge. There we go. And you can tell I'm not worried about stuff <laughs> going outside my shapes. Let me know how your drawing is going. Um, and let's see. So these little flat planes, you can either draw them or don't draw them either way. Um, Let's see. There's this little, it goes in just a smidge right there. So if you want to get real fancy, you could have it, have the outline go in a smidge. And right there too. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for joining and watching. And, uh, So part of what makes this reflection so jaggedy below <laughs> where my tape is kind of showing through is the, the flat planes here and then on the back. And that's kind of neat. So I'm just going to indicate it in the couple places I really see it, which is over on the far left and the far right. And my midline has served its purpose. So I'm getting that out of there. And alrighty. So over here, see it. And then right about there, the flat plane and there's this beautiful piece of light right here. I'm going to wait and come back since I don't totally have my things where they go yet. And I'm reassessing the shapes. If it seems symmetrical, if it seems like there's anything on here that's really throwing the shapes off. see. And then this area is kind of disappearing back there. And so I'm just going to smudge that up a little bit. And the pencils I'm not too worried about. I just like having the shape there. I think it's okay if they just look like anything. They could be anything at all. Um, and let's see this apple. So the apple, I'll put a little C over there to indicate it. I'm going to move it somewhere a little bit more helpful. Here we go. So it has this nice shape where it's um, really not symmetrical. I think that's nice right next to this very symmetrical glass. And so the bottom of it is up there. The top of it is somewhere right up in this area. And here we go. It's looking like a very small apple back there. And, and then the way that the light is kind of changing this inside edge of the apple that's just so pretty and fun. And okay, so let me get a little bit of values in here. The wall back here is almost disappearing, so I'm not going to worry too much about that, but there's this shadow from the apple right back there. And then let's see, there's this real highlight here 
and then a little bit more shadow across the rest of the apple. And then in this area, there's this nice shadow that is on the apple side of the glass. And then, so other things you can check if it's starting to feel warbly is that um, all the junctures are on the same plane. Um, Okay, so I'm just getting some of that value in the background of the glass, like the part that's not this shiny water. And let's see, there's this, <clears throat> excuse me, this beautiful light down here. And so I'm going to darken up a little bit of the bottom of the glass so that that bright reflection really shines. And and right in here. So this looks like it's sort of the shadow behind the apple on the inside and there we go and over here too so here we've got this beginning of a glass here we go I'm just going to very subtly put some value back here and I'm not worrying so much about all the jagged teeth looking parts down here. Um, if you wanted to really get into realism, you could put in this piece of tape. <laughs> it's kind of cool actually. And let's see. This is the kind of thing where you really want your line to continue all the way through. And so you can either just kind of pick up your charcoal and then put it back down, um, or you can use a straight edge, but having, having it line up from one side to the other really, uh, it's one of those things you would see and it would look really off if it um, wasn't quite right. And so, there we go. So there used to be this nice little shadow right there. Oh, it's very light, very, very, almost, almost can't see it at all, but it's so pretty. So I'm gonna, going to try it out and see how that goes. And... <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of love that distortion line too. It's, it's wonky for sure. Yeah. And so let's see here. So from this point on, drawing for me is just looking, correcting things that look weird, and then looking for um, areas where, let's say, there's more change in this area than what I see. So this curve right here looks a little weird. I'm going to correct that. Um, let's see, over here, I see more change than what I've got. Um, there it is. 
soften up this little shadow back here. So by that, I mean, there's this shiny surface, but then there's this shadow that comes down over it right there. And so I'm just getting more and more specific. And to me, art can stay in this phase of correcting and getting more specific for really any amount of time. And um, let's see, there's this real warbliness to the back of this water that's kind of beautiful. And. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, and, and then something really subtle has happened right in here where there's this nice highlight that comes across down here, but not so much in the middle. So I'm just going to get rid of that since I, I really like, and you know, as the light changes, it's always nice to reflect and say, okay, do I like the way it is now? Or do I like how it used to be? And, um, Oh, Oh, Bummer with the email. I am sorry it's still down. That sounds real frustrating. So, let's see, there's this, this tape back here. That's really interesting and just looking at how it's reflected down in the glass, it's moved kind of lower in the glass than it uh, is on the edges. And I think that's neat. Let's see. So you don't have to do everything that's awesome, but when you find something really cool, it's kind of fun to chase it and, um, you know, just put in the details that are really intriguing to you. And let's see. All right, let me know how you're, so cars, are you drawing along or is anybody else there that's, um, that's drawing along? And thank you for the <laughs> thumbs up. I appreciate that. And, um, let me know how it is going and I'm going to erase some of these places. I put lines. It is a line, but it's like a white line here. So I'm going to get a little bit of value in the background and then get some a couple highlights and let's see I'm just gonna do like a vignette where it just kind of ends <laughs> so far right out here and Okay, so now I can really get a highlight. And if you want to highlight, it's really good to have something dark on each side. And let's see if that's, maybe that needs to be a little darker. And really get a nice highlight. Oh, 
<laughs> awesome. Hi, Pat. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. All right. Get some highlights in here. And, and then this line I drew is a little heavy. I might get rid of that in a couple more places, but I get a couple of highlights in here first. It's really the highlights. You can say so much about a glass with just a couple little white spots. <laughs> and over here, this is almost disappearing. So I'm just going to erase that. And this little highlight right here. Boop. And right here. And right back here next to this apple. And then a little bit more erasing. <laughs> Sketchbook tour! Hello and welcome! Cool. Well, <laughs> thanks so much. I'm so glad you joined us and um, I'm here every week at the same time so you're always welcome to come back and draw with us and and um, and chat and let's see so Pat let me know how your drawing is going and do you love drawing glasses of water or do you hate it it's Definitely one of those things that feels a little bit magical because it's because it's clear and so much of what you're saying is um, just by leaving things out and <laughs> well welcome and um, thank you for saying that that's very sweet. <laughs> And we used to use uh, pencils mainly, but this last month I've been doing a lot of charcoal drawing, which has been so much fun. There we go. I think this is just about done. <laughs> uh, and oh, let me see. That is one of the very nice things about drawing. You can put a mark in the wrong place or an eraser in the wrong place, and then you just fill it back in, put it where you want it. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I spent a long time where my favorite things to paint were um, glass with a couple flowers and a little piece of fruit. And it was for exactly this reason that it's just such a challenge of um, what are you going to put in? What are you going to leave out? And... Um, and then this neat refraction, refraction, and and uh, how do you express that? And I've got to say, <laughs> drawing this stuff, it really makes me smile. 
Well, it's a lot of fun. I hope it's making you happy too. And <laughs> uh, oh, very cool, very cool. You also love charcoals. Very cool. Well, I think I'm going to call this a day. Um, thank you so much for joining. I hope I see you again next week. Um, please like if you like, subscribe if you want to find out when I'm going live. Um, and have an amazing rest of your week. <laughs> yeah, something about drawing with charcoal is very satisfying, that little ch -ch -ch -ch. And I recently talked to an artist who makes all their own charcoal. So your charcoal you use for grilling with, maybe you could use that for some art supplies too. And uh, they said that the consistency was a little challenging. It wasn't as consistent as it would be if you bought your charcoal from an art store but I think the satisfaction makes up for it. And yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining. Bye everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Ah, yeah. Yes, it does, Karis. It has such a wonderful texture. <laughs>